Ironically, American refineries just can't refine the crude oil from America that efficiently because they were optimized to refine crude oil imported from abroad. False. Why do so many Americans believe this? Because it is completely false. Well, because Americans read it every day. That's why they believe it, even though it is completely false. Everywhere you look, you will find stories in the media that tell you we can't refine our own oil. Many of these come directly from the oil and gas industry themselves. You see, it's not that we can't refine our own oil. We refine over 9 million barrels a day of our own oil right here in the United States. It's not a matter of can't. It's a matter of profit. So the oil companies make up all these excuses as to why they can't. What they're not going to tell you is that they can. They just make more money not doing it. As a matter of fact, they don't have to change anything at all to do it. You know, a lot of people believe they have to change the configuration of their refineries. They got to change this. They got to change that. American oil is the easiest oil in the world to refine. And the fact that our refineries are set up to refine heavy oil doesn't constrict or restrict our ability to refine light oil in any way, shape, or form. They make more money refining cheap foreign oil. And by the way, there's some benefit to you. You get lower gas prices. What is another complete falsehood that Americans believe? That the United States consumes over 20 million barrels of oil a day. No, that's not a thing. Now, the reason Americans believe this is because the term oil is often used as a broad general term across the industry when it's not actually oil. What we actually use in a day is U.S. petroleum products. Why is that important? Because it doesn't take 20 million barrels of oil to use these petroleum products. No, it's actually significantly less. So what do we use? Gasoline, diesel, hydrocarbon gas liquids. That's an important one we'll get back to. Kerosene type jet fuel, still gas, asphalt and road oil, residual fuel oil, petroleum coke, petrochemical feedstocks, biofuels, lubricants, unfinished oils, naphthas, uh, aviation gas, waxes, kerosene. This is the 20 million barrels a day we use. Why is hydrocarbon gas liquids important? Because they're not derived from crude oil. This is derived from natural gas. So that product represents over three and a half million barrels of oil a day of something that is actually not made out of oil. So that brings down our crude oil consumption significantly. And another thing people don't understand is products swell. You see, when you refine a barrel of oil, you actually get more product out of it than you start with. You start with 42 gallons of, of crude oil. You end up with 45 or 46 gallons of refined products. Why is that important? Because that reduces our overall oil consumption number by another 6%. And what all that means is we're actually much closer producing all of the oil we need than most people believe we are. What's another common misconception about the oil and gas industry? Well, that oil companies set gas prices. No, that is not a thing. Over 99.5% of all of the oil companies in the United States don't even produce any gasoline at all nor do they sell any gasoline. Gasoline is sold by refiners, and refiners don't set the price of gasoline either. It is sold on an open market on an exchange, just like oil is. This is the price of RBOB. This is Carbob, or the feedstock they use in California and places like that, versus RBOB. This is another exchange. And these things are just one of the reasons that I exist on social media. Because energy overall, whether it's fossil fuel, renewable, nuclear, it doesn't matter. Most people's understanding and knowledge of energy in the United States is vastly skewed by misinformation. Energy may be the one thing that Americans are most misinformed about in this country. But don't get it twisted. Where do you think this misinformation comes from? It comes from the industries themselves. Thanks.